Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this 3-pack of intermodal well cars. And thanks to Railfan Kyle for requesting that I do an intermodal car and making this video possible. Now there are single intermodal cars out there, but far more common, they come in a 3-pack or 5-pack. So I've decided for this video, we'll do a 3-pack of connected cars so you can see how to build it. And a fun fact, even when it's multiple cars connected like this, the railroad still considers it to be one train car. Now let's get into it here. As usual, I'm going to build it on the back of the train I already have. So the first step is to take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler and get it connected up. Underneath that, a dark oak fence gate for the air hose. Then we're going to use netherite for our first set of wheels here. So get a block of netherite on each rail behind that coupler with an end rod axle. Then, dark oak stairs upside down in a back-to-back T-shaped pattern coming three across the rails. Behind that, another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then on the outside edges, we put a hopper in front of each wheel and another brick fence in front of each stair. Same thing over here, fences in front of the stairs, hoppers in front of the wheels. Now take out a smooth stone slab and on this first row behind the coupler, put a row of five. Behind that, switch to yellow terracotta and we're gonna put a row of five yellow terracotta behind the slabs. Then we'll extend the sides forward to the front of the truck and we'll go ahead and fill in that middle three right here behind the wheels as well. Then we're going to take out a grindstone and we actually need it facing that way. Then swing around and put another one in front of it facing the same direction. This represents the air reservoir. Then we're going to come on front here and we got a crouch and we're going to put a jungle trap door in front of that and close it. That will be the handbrake wheel. Then back to smooth stone slabs. Fill in a two by two here and then two on the outside edges just like that. Now we're going to extend each of these ends out by one yellow terracotta. Then we're going to take a regular oak stair and we're going to swing around underneath and place them upside down. So get it upside down facing that way. Same thing on this other side. Upside down facing this way. Now we'll swing around and put a yellow terracotta in front of each of those wheels. And then on top, two rows of three smooth stone slabs. Now we're going to come off this bottom corner with yellow terracotta and we're going to make a line that's 17 blocks long in total. Once we have 17 blocks, we'll come to the other side and bring a row down to that same length on the other side. Now, we're going to go ahead and come back down to this other end. And on top, we're going to extend a row of four yellow terracotta on each side. Then a block of coal, two smooth quartz on each side, and another block of coal. Then switch back to yellow terracotta and bring it all the way down to the end on each side here. Then we're going to put an upside down oak stair on the bottoms just like that. And yellow terracotta above them. Then put a yellow terracotta on bottom above the rails next to where the stairs are on both sides here. So one here and one here. Then we'll do our next truck, so netherite, on each rail with an end rod axle. Then an upside down, back to back T-shaped pattern of dark oak stairs coming three across the rails. Then netherite on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then on the outsides, we're going to put a hopper in front of each wheel. Same thing over here. Then nether brick fronts in front of the stairs. 
Now this end's different because they're not coupled together. The cars share a truck where they're attached to in the middle. So put down a row of five smooth stone slabs here and then one coming forward on each side into the center of the truck. And actually delete the ones in front of it and put an oak fence like that so it looks like it's attached. Swing around in front of this and a row of three slabs here. Now we'll do the second of the cars here. And remember, they're not coupled, they're attached at the truck. So it's gonna look a little different than normal here. So this end sticks out farther than this end. So we're gonna come on the truck here with a smooth stone slab. And we'll put one here and here, spin around and put an oak stair like that on each side. And then a stone slab in the middle and one on each side above these wheels here. Then we're gonna switch to yellow terracotta and put one in front of each wheel. Then we'll come on the side like this and get an upside down oak stair on each side on the outside edge like that. Now we'll come down on the bottom off where that oak stair is with yellow terracotta and same thing we're going to extend it down till it's 17 blocks long. And once we have that we'll extend the other side out 17 blocks long as well. Now we'll come back up to this other end here on top on the outside edge with yellow terracotta and we're going to extend the top five blocks down. Same thing over here, five blocks. Then a block of coal on each side. Then two smooth quartz. And another block of coal. Then we'll switch back to yellow terracotta and bring it all the way down to the end on both sides. Then we'll swing back down to this side and put a line of three smooth quartz slabs right there. Then back down on this end, we're gonna put an upside down oak stair on bottom on each side. Then on the insides next to them, yellow terracotta, and then yellow terracotta above the stairs. Now our next truck, so netherite wheels on the rails with an end rod axle. Then a back-to-back T-shaped pattern of upside down dark oak stairs and another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. On the outsides we put a hopper in front of each wheel again and another brick fence in front of the stairs on both sides. Then in front of each wheel a yellow terracotta. Spin around like this with an oak stair and put an upside down oak stair on each side. Then we'll take out smooth stone slabs again and we're going to run a row of three here and a row of three here. Then we're going to put oak slabs this way above those wheels and this way above those wheels. Then two stone slabs like that on either side, one in the middle here and one above each wheel. Then we come off this corner with yellow terracotta in a row that's 17 blocks long again for the third car. And then once we've extended that out, same thing, a row 17 blocks long over here. Then on this end, on the top level, we're gonna extend a row of five yellow terracotta. Same thing over on that other side, five yellow terracotta. Then a block of coal, two smooth quartz, a block of coal, then four yellow terracotta on each side, a single block of coal, and yellow ter terracotta down to the end. On the end on bottom, upside down oak stairs on each side, then yellow terracotta next to each stair and above it. Then across that, three smooth quartz slabs. Then our final truck, so another right on each rail again, and rod axle. Then an upside down back to back T-shape of dark oak stairs. And one more set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then go ahead and put a hopper on the outsides of each wheel. Same thing over here. 
another brick fence in front of each stair. Now come on top here with the yellow terracotta again. And we're gonna extend the sides down. Stop one block before the end of the car. Come across like this and link that up. Then five smooth stone slabs across the end. We'll also fill in this next row of three here. Then we'll put two grindstones here, but make sure they're sideways for another air reservoir. Then we'll have to come on the end here and crouch and get a jungle trap door in front of them. And then get it close to be the handbrake wheel on this end. Then back to smooth stone slab, a two by two and then one on the side like that. Then extend it two forward on each side and fill in that one middle strip in there. Now come down to the side on this end and we're gonna put two smooth quartz slabs here and here, two on the end here, two on each of these ends, and two on each of these ends. Now we're gonna take out an iron trap door start on this end here three iron trap doors here and here three on each side on this end three on each side here three on each side here three on each side here and three on each side on this end now switch to yellow carpet and we're going to fill in the rest of the tops of all these on the sides with yellow carpet. Then we're going to take out an oak fence and on the very end sides on the first two yellow terracotta we're going to put a two by two of oak fence. And we'll keep doing that all the way around. So on the end here, a two by two, and here. And just keep doing that all the way around the car. Then we're gonna take out a ladder, and we're gonna put a ladder right next to the fence on all four corners of each of the cars. Then switch to a blackstone button and put three coming down the side in front of the oak stairs on each side. And we're gonna do that all around the car. Then on this side, we're gonna put a single button right in front of the block where those iron trap doors are. Same here, same here on the left-hand side of all the cars. Then on this side, we're gonna do it on the right hand side. So one there, one here, and one here. Now the cars are done and we'll make a bunch of different shipping containers. Take out orange terracotta right here, come three tall, and then three across the bottom and fill this end. In. Then on this block, we're gonna extend it down to the end. We don't need to do underneath because we won't see it. So bring your orange terracotta all the way down to the end here. And then get three below there. Then come back to this end. Put three orange terracotta and then four blocks of coal. And then come all the way around. Fill in this end. Three orange terracotta, four blocks of coal. fill in the rest with orange terracotta. So the bottom one's done. For the top one, we'll use lapis lazuli and get a three by four on the end. This will be like a CSX container. We'll start filling in all the way to the top here, coming down. And even fill in the very top and just fill all this in with lapis lazuli.
now come on the side, on the left hand side of the container, one block down from the top and two blocks over. We're going to knock out three with a block of space between them and replace them with yellow concrete to be the lettering. We'll do the same thing over here. So one down and two over, knock out three with a block of space between them and put yellow concrete in. I was going to show you how to make CSX letter banners, but that glitch happened again where it wouldn't let me save banners. So we're doing it the old fashioned way. Now we'll put some containers in this next car here. And I like each one to be different so you have a wide variety. So take out a block of smooth quartz. This one's going to be like a FedEx container here. Come down on the end with smooth quartz. Come across here by three and we're going to make that a three by three. Swing down to this end. And we'll make a three by three down here as well. Then we'll turn to the side and make a column of two smooth quartz. Then on bottom, two purple concrete coming out for the FedEx logo. Next to that, two lime concrete. Then we'll fill in the rest of this side with smooth quartz all the way down to the other end. Then we'll come over and do this side, so a column of two. Then two purple concrete on bottom and two lime concrete. Then smooth quartz above it and bring smooth quartz all the way down to this other end here till it connects up. Now we'll do a different container on top of that, so take out a block of clay. We'll go ahead and make a 3x4 on the end here. And we'll start filling in the bottom two coming all the way down. Just keep bringing it down here. Then when we get to the end here, it'll be another 3x4. Then we'll swing around on the side here. And it goes 2 clay, 2 diamond, a clay, and then 6 coal. Then clay to the other end. And then go ahead and fill in the top. And we'll come around and do the same thing on this side. So two clay, two diamond, a clay, and six coal. Then we'll fill in all the rest of this with clay and even cover the top of the container here. Now one more car to put containers in here. So we're gonna start with white concrete on the end here. We'll make a column of three white concrete on this side and a column of three on this side. Three lapis in the middle. Come down, do the same thing over here. So three white concrete on the sides with lapis in the middle. Now we're gonna come off each end here with lapis lazuli. And on each side, we're gonna put a row that's five blocks long. Spin around, and same thing, five blocks coming in from the end. Then in this gap, we're gonna fill it with white concrete. Then we're gonna come around above that with red concrete, except extend it out on each side one block further than the white concrete. Then we can fill the rest of the gaps with lapis. Now we'll do the next container above it, so take out an iron block on the end and make a 3x4. Same thing down on this end, a 3x4 of iron blocks. This one's supposed to be like a JB Hunt container. Then on the sides, we'll fill in the sides two blocks tall for now, so we can do the logoing. And bring it all the way down from end to end. When we get down by this end, we want to leave two iron blocks on the left hand side, but knock out a space of five on each side on this level. Fill that 
with dark prismarine. Above dark prismarine, we're going to put a block of gold. Same thing here. And then we can surround and fill everything else on this container with iron block. Then we need to put the coupler on this end here. So come on here in the middle with a dark oak stair, stack it up to that second block, delete the ones you use for placement. Underneath it, we'll put a dark oak fence gate to be the airline. So I've shown you how to make six different containers here, but if you need more ideas for containers, check out this intermodal train and all these different containers on this one. I made this long intermodal train on this bridge in an old world that I haven't touched in about a year. Mostly because I got sick of terraforming to try to build a city and this world was super laggy as you can see. But I figured I'd show it to you because there's many many different containers on this train. And remember, the name of the game with an intermodal train is all about variety. And we only built a three pack here. You could easily add two more of the middle cars in and make it a five pack. I just did three to save time. But like I said, here's a bunch of different containers that you can use. They're fairly simple to figure out how to build. And there you have it folks, we've completed part one of our intermodal wildcar tutorial where we built this three pack of intermodal cars. Stay tuned for part two where I'll show you how to build a couple different designs of individual wildcars. And thanks to Real Fan Kyle once again for requesting that I do this video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.